Hi, my name is Terry Ntiamakengwani. I studied at Monash, South Africa, and I have a bachelor's degree in social sciences, specializing in marketing and political science. I'll definitely describe it as grotesque, distorted, and definitely expressive, and figurative sometimes. Okay, um, I prefer working with all mediums, so definitely charcoal, enamel, oil paints, and I just put them into one canvas. Or if I'm working on board, I'll definitely work with like charcoal or acrylic, but yeah, I keep the oil paints for the canvas. <laughs> Okay, so my painting process starts off with me journalizing ideas and then I look for material on Pinterest to see if those ideas match well and I go through a deconstructing and reconstructing process where I take the existing imagery, I just use imagery from my subconscious to try and change what is already there. Sometimes I put it on a sketch pad or I would put it on like my digital app and just draw and see am I happy with this, am I satisfied and if I am I'll just put it on canvas or it never gets to go on canvas. Um, it depends if I want to bring out earthly colours, it depends on the subject matter, but I just uh, pick colours just randomly. I don't have a plan as to what type of colours I would use. I definitely use a knife or a sponge or sometimes I blend with my fingers, but my brush strokes are definitely thick. And I just allow myself to be as expressive as possible. I'm exploring mental health and intersectionality, more so mental health because, you know, there's no ending or beginning to healing. And I think it's, it's not much spoken about and there's still that stigma that's associated with it. So I really, and more passionate about it. Okay, yeah, I definitely love to paint outside of nature. I don't love painting in like a studio or something like that because I get claustrophobic and I just love seeing the sun and hearing the birds and just being in nature. It allows me to be free as well, so yeah. My most recent painting was inspired by the book of Nelson Mandela's title. So I'll just say the title of my work was inspired by Nelson Mandela's book, Long Walk to Freedom. And I was just like, okay, I can't say long walk to mental health. So I just said a journey to healing entirely. Zila is a feeling, which means in Sutu, there's no road. No, the road never ends. Yeah, that's basically what it means. So it's just recognizing that we can't force people to heal immediately at the time that we want them to heal. And it's also recognizing that we all have different coping, coping mechanisms. And it's also recognizing that this is my journey and I want you to support me. But then if you don't want to support me, let me be. I don't fear judgment, but I think if it comes from an art critique, I'll definitely feel hurt because sometimes you put your heart into what you create, but I'll definitely learn from it and just stay true to my craft. Well, I'll start off with my upcoming project because that one is so exciting. So I'm going to be exhibiting at IAE MSA for mental health on the 20th of October 2023. So please come and support. And if you want to see my work or check my website because you're curious about who I am and what I stand for, please also don't forget to buy my artwork. It'll mean a lot to me. But <laughs>